the next level individually and as a team. Good cut, opens up a three off the back end of the rim. Rebound picked back up by Balagoon, up and in. They've doubled up a and 52 to 26. Calls a turnover to Jesus with a brilliant drop. Taylor sets her feet again, yes! Great hands, pushing it as Oliver. Oliver, high praise from Coach Lawson before the game and delivers there off the sill. Again, Blue Devils on the run. The no-look bounce. And Balagoon navigates the lane and banks it in. As I mentioned, Coresdale, also from Oregon State, not available tonight for Coach Lawson. That's short. It was tipped by Brown. Outlet up and in. Good finish at the basket by Ashlyn Jackson, the freshman out of China, Texas. Into this 12-point deficit, but Duke's defense has been swarming, and right there, a taller Kennedy Brown just gets her hand on the shot of Jada Malone, and that sends Duke off to the races, one of their transition baskets of the evening. You Balagoon, <laughs> and one for Balagoon. Austin Peay starting five versus Mariah Adams, the point guard right here. Johnson's the big swing threat. Here's a turnover. Balagoon into open space, and that's too easy. Last time these teams met, the NCAA tournament, 2009. Balagoon's having a tournament performance with the N1. You can see trying to get some separation there. Adams a couple of steps back from the baseline. Still doesn't help out, though. Starting five, the Duke Blue Devils, Celeste Taylor, Elizabeth Balagoon, Brown, Richardson, and Day Wilson. This is Balagoon. Takes a three and makes it good for her to see one go through. She was 0 for 6 the last game. Does not give up on the play. She has six. Balagoon open for three and knocks it down. Balagoon. Out of the double to Taylor on net, ripping ropes for the Blue Devils. Jay Wilson trying to work off a hiding screen. Now Oliver may have been deflected. Balagoon, side rim, second effort. She drops it in right in front of the horn once again. In the winning effort against Syracuse where she led the team in scoring. Balagoon straight away, hits a three ball. 11th all-time meeting, could be a classic here at Cameron Indoor Stadium. Shot clock is at two. Balagoon beats it. The ball, but right here, Elizabeth Balagoon. Celeste Taylor doesn't have it, pops out, notices she has a mouse in the house and just takes it. Here's Oliver, down low, Balagoon. Got it with a foul and one, she got Becker jumping. Watch the outside and you repost and then just go pick and roll. And again, you've got to guard. The... As Clemson finds themselves down early, first possession of the game, though. Perpignan tried to send it outside, an early theft for the Blue Devils and a chance to run. It's Balagoon in transition all the way in and a quick 5 0 start for the Blue Devils. Meanwhile, the Blue Devils have been really good offensively of late and able to get out in transition here. Now they do a great job creating offense with their defense. Is Balagoon in transition. Blue Devils by five looking for more. Leave it up top for Heidi. Now to the right of Balagoon three. That is a big shot for Carol Lawson's squad. Every time it feels like Duke is about to pull away, Clemson has an answer. They whip one inside to the right corner. Balagoon's open, and she rings it in. And then you see in possessions like we've had the last four minutes of the fourth quarter where they utilize the shot clock, they move it side to side. Smart, disciplined basketball in the half court. It's just a great one-on-one -on -one move by Balagoon. It's a 6-0 Carolina run to counter the 7-0 Duke run. Balagoon with a huge three. Duke needed a bucket. Elizabeth Balagoon answers with the... Got a little rattled. Once the game settled in, they, they weren't getting the shots that they wanted. So I think just more composure for Syracuse will help in this half. And right out of the gate, Duke is on the board. Dave Wilson finds Balagoon at the baseline. 
Richardson, beautiful touchdown on five to get the end one to Balagoon. Brown, Celeste Taylor to Richardson, shot clock winding down, one more pass. Oh my goodness. And Balagoon delivered. I mean, shot clock running down. She didn't know if she wanted to shoot it or not, but luckily Balagoon cut at the last. Greg kept it alive. Balagoon, all the points here <laughs> in the fourth quarter. Balagoon gets the in one. Here, just with a nice, strong post move. She has position, she gathers herself, she goes up against the contact and finishes. Today, they've already shot the 17, so something to definitely keep an eye on. This on the inside, this one falls in the hands. You see, Balagoon has two on her, finds Kennedy Brown underneath. A concern for any team that plays the Devils. Pitt really working on their press break today and shoot around. To this point, had done a really good job of taking care of the basketball, but you got to stop the ball right there. Balagoon gets an easy two. And I'm just off of turnovers, and you see this pressure right here. Balagoon is really tough at the top of that press. She's long, she's got really good time. Balagoon backing in and scoring. Day Wilson on the handle. Balagoon, there's your first three. And Duke's getting it back. And right here, you see Dave Wilson doesn't use a screen, gets to Richardson to Balagoon, extra pass, Westbelt too slow. With the Boston Celtics, who's Balagoon, takes a big step, had an opening as Dave Wilson is in. Balagoon, tough shot, makes it. Nice job by Balagoon. I thought that play was a big... Jordan Oliver, Balagoon, great pass to Brown, up and in. Again, the double team came. And Hokies need to continue to stay with that urgency on the defensive end. That's a welcome sight for Duke, who really struggled to score against Virginia Tech in the takeaway for the Blue Devils. Open three, and it drops. How about this, 5-0 Duke in 30 seconds. The fast break is disrupted. Cross-court pass, Celeste Taylor. Balagoon, yes, now two for two. Beats Kennedy Brown down the court. That's that speed of Jada Boyd in the open floor. Three ball is good. Well, Duke is 13 and three in the league. Those three losses, opponents scored over 60 points as they get the triple from Balagoon. This is really good execution. Right down the lane line. Well, I thought it was... De Jesus with the push. Balagoon, nice drop off for Brown. Lefty land. They pride themselves in rebounding. That's how they get out in transition and start the run. That's how they like to play. Corner three is good. Look at, how, look at how she is out there. She is so tenacious and after the ball. You think she'd be here in the whole season? A great battle for position. Kennedy Brown gets the easy two. Husby gets the pass back to McPherson while falling down. Now setting the screen. McPherson rejected. Balagoon the block. Rivals so much on the line. Two really physical defensive teams. They're going to clean it up early. Elizabeth Balagoon. Don't forget about her. She drains the three. Eight to shoot now. Balagoon drains the three. Deja Kelly is now three for 11 in this game. She has taken the most shots of any North Carolina target. She's taken a third of their field goal attempts. Balagoon drains a three of her own. Holds the baseline, just three baskets in the first quarter for Duke. That's it. They shot 21%, but as usual, their defense keeps them in games. That's the eighth turnover already for Virginia Tech. Corner three, good. 